After more than a year of cooperation, a major customer from Russia finally came to visit our company. Since the second half of last year, we have been conducting video conferences with the client to transmit values and discuss cooperation details. However, due to various reasons, the visit did not materialize. I remember a video conference at the end of last year where we were supposed to discuss the purpose of the visit with the client. The boss sat next to me, watching me start reciting the prepared script in front of the video camera. Without any hesitation, she pushed me aside and took the seat in front of the computer to negotiate with the client via video. At that moment, I felt uncomfortable. After the video conference ended, she only said one thing to me, treat the client as a person, speak to the client like a person. Given my original temperament and style, I might have confronted the boss face to face, but after years of working with her, I understood that she genuinely cared for me. I have always been a salesperson with a strong sense of goals, preferring to work alone and excel with one shot. I used to see communicating with team members as a waste of time, even with my superiors, believing that securing clients and orders would silence all those who wanted to criticize me. Both my superior and boss described me as a wild horse that couldn't be tamed, only charging forward relentlessly. By focusing solely on achieving sales targets and financial goals without adopting a long-term and customer-focused perspective as required by the company's strategy, I encountered a severe setback in my career in 2023. Many clients were lost, forcing me to reflect on my work attitude and identify the real reasons for my slump. To help me overcome this downturn, my superior, Penny, identified this Russian client among my remaining clients, drawing the attention of the boss. We gathered to discuss how to transform this client into a key account. To meet the client's needs, the company hired Russian translators to produce videos detailing factory production and quality control to send to the client. The boss and our supervisor traveled abroad to meet with the client and address technical challenges encountered during production. Penny repeatedly trained me on systematic thinking and communication techniques related to product technology when engaging with clients. I diligently completed the tasks assigned by the team, as I understood that despite appearing distanced from closing deals, these tasks all contributed to enhancing client value. Improving client value would, in turn, elevate our own value, making money equals spending money equals client value equals self-worth.